I want you to hold the hands of whoever's with you right now. And if you're by yourself like I am right now, hold your own hands. The majority of our students in our classes, in our workshops, are American citizens, whatever their origin is. Unfortunately, today, most likely, the number of Americans who will die from COVID will reach 500,000. That is a surreal number. As someone who was born and raised and lives in a small city, the population of Niagara Falls is 75,000. Close your eyes and simply feel for all of the people who have passed away, will pass away, and how that affects their families, their friends, affects us. Shanti. Alila is that which makes the unmanifest manifest. We come across this word quite a bit, Leela, sometimes defined as a play. The idea of a Leela to make the unmanifest manifest for our joyous nature to be experienced. Our nature is happiness, yet it is unmanifest. So we're not experiencing that. A Leela helps us to do that. I feel the same applies for morning time. Our potential becomes manifest in the morning, we think more clearly, we write more clearly. And when there's meaning, then being a morning person is easier, more natural. Therefore, we are experiencing a Leela <laughs> every morning. 
in chapter 1, verse 17. More names on the Pandava side are indicated and how enthusiastic and energetic they are. Kashyaha, Shikandi, Drishta Dyumnaha, Virataha, Satyakihi. Very classical names, you know? <laughs> now all names are four or five letters, like my own. <laughs> These ones are 10, 15 letters. We continue. <coughs> Chapter 1, verse 18. Drupado dropade yascha Sarvasha pretivi pate Saubhadrascha maha bahuhu Shangandad mau pretak pretak Sanjaya is narrating to Dhritarashtra what the Pandavas did after Acharya Bhishma blew his conch. Then Drupadaha and Draupadeyaha. These are all personalities we've already met in verses four and five and six. So I'm not going to reference them again. Prithivipate, he's referring to Dhritarashtra as the ruler of the earth. I'm very fond of this word prithvi to describe the earth because the origin of this, one of the greatest leaders in our history, his name is Raja Prithu. In our devotion course, we learned a lot about him. He loved the earth so much that he treated the earth as his daughter as in a family member, a child. So the earth became known as Prithvi, the child, the love of Prithu. I feel all of us should love the earth that much, like our child. Saubhadraha, who is a Mahabahuhu, another name we've come across. Shangan Dadmau Pratak Pratak, each of these warriors blew their conches respectively. This warrior blew that, and this warrior blew that. A implication of this verse the attention to detail of the training of these warriors that their bows had names, their conches had names. They've been trained in combat really since their childhood. Such experts they are. Another implication, and I'm referring to Paramahansa Yogananda's commentary. I told you how he goes into great detail about what these conches represent. Sri Krishna's conch is called the Pancha Janya. If you think of these words, Janya means to give birth. Pancha is really Pancha, to give birth to five. That is the five elements that make up this multiverse. An implication of how the breath of the divine flows through this entire multiverse. And one more implication, I'm trying to show to you the importance of conscious. Whenever you see an icon of divinity in Sanatana Dharma, in Hinduism, in one of their hands, they have a conch, correct? That conch is a call to us to go towards that sound, to get to the source. In our devotion course, it was the sound of a flute. Here, the sound of a conch. And when you go to that source, when you follow the sound to the source, what's awaiting you? A lotus, 
A lotus is a sign of delight. You can call this moksha, independence. Those are some insights into a conch. I have one here for you because many of you, <laughs> it's just a shell, correct? Our kids just think of it as a shell too, and so they listen to it. I'm gonna to try to blow it for you, okay? This is your call to the divine. If you follow it, you will be delighted. <laughs> but now I'm all nervous. <laughs> it reminds you of those Indian TV shows, correct? Mahaparat. <laughs> we'll continue to our application. See now Vyas is running upstairs. <laughs> See the call of the divine. <laughs> here, here. You want to come? Okay. <laughs> let me let me continue. I had asked all of you to research to research your name. How many of you did that? <laughs> Can you share with everyone what your name means? For those who did the research. <laughs> Eyes awakening. <laughs> um, uh, Are you living up to these names? <laughs> I will, very soon. My name comes from the base, Vich, V-I-C-H, which means to filter. Vivek comes from Vichara. <laughs> Or vich, which means to filter, to filter dichotomy. What is good and bad, right and wrong, absolute and relative. I hope I'm living up to this. Your application for this morning, every time you want to communicate with someone, I want you to, as if, portray that you're blowing a conch. <laughs> In a very exaggerated way, like if you were telling your spouse, okay, um, can I have a cup of coffee? So you should blow it Ooh, and then say it, <laughs> okay? Do it in an exaggerated way, at least in a mental way, if you're going to get fired from your job <laughs> in a meeting. <laughs> and finally, to, an <laughs> to announcements, I know a whole lot of you joined us for... Healing with Hanuman, and a lovely recording has been made. This is posted on our YouTube channel, Shinmai and Shinaigras. And for your reference, we were able to raise $76,200 towards our aspiration of $25,000. <laughs> now, the problem with all of you being so generous is I'm going to be more demanding then. <laughs> This is a lovely community to be in. And so I will blow our conch one more time for all of us <laughs> to feel delight. Okay. Say it again. Shanti. 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 <laughs> be safe, be sound, be serene, be happiness. <laughs>